Kenobi's corner. Kenobi's corner. Kenobi's corner. Doom doom. Come on, let's keep going, dude. All right, man. Let's do a short show for real this time. For real. For real. Because last time was definitely not at all. Yeah. All right, man. I hope you don't even put anything before. I hope that it's Why? just you to just cut like straight in, and you're just like. This is the show. We should just do a collection of your coughing like the entire just, time. Just like 30 coughs in a row. <laughs> Damn it. I was trying hard not to cough. You, you know what? You, know what, you remember yeah. when you were doing that to me? <laughs> trying to make me laugh into coughing? Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's not so funny when it's on the other foot, isn't it? Nope. When the cough's on the other foot. No, yep, it's not uh-uh, that funny. Not at all. <laughs> um. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> <coughs> Damn it. <coughs> Bless you. Thank you. All right, friends. <laughs> Welcome to Kenobi's Corner. I'm Eric. The cough master. The cough master. <laughs> the cough. I said cough, like coughing. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Damn it. This is ter- starting terribly. Uh, and the other guy laughing is Jonathan. Yeah, that's me. Yeah. <laughs> uh, welcome to Kenobi's Corner. This week, we will talk about, as we do always, about comics, fantastical stuff, things that interest us, yes. and sci fi, fantasy. And actually, we're, dude, we're talking about some things that I'm really excited about. Uh Uh-huh. But for sure. For sure. This is the episode. Yes. Shortest episode that we've ever done. Not shortest, for sure. But not the shortest episode. At least shorter than the last like three or four weeks when we've been like saying it's going to be a short episode and then go for like an hour and a half. This is going to be the shortest hour and a half episode you've ever listened to. (laughs) That's going to be it. Yeah. Yes. Well, cool, man. Anyway. Yeah. <laughs> How did you know? How did I know? The way to my heart, John. Uh, we spend a lot of time together. We spend entire lunches holding each other's hand and staring into each other's eyes. You son of a bitch. You said you would never say that on air. <laughs> no, we do spend a lot of time together. But <laughs> Specifically, I'm talking about the first story that we have today. Yes. Starship Troopers, man. Yes. I know. That's why I put it first. Yeah. I, know, cause I, was, <laughs> I, I saw this and I was like, what? This is amazing. And I was yes. like, Eric's going to love this. And I put Dude, it right on there. I freaking love it. I got a freaking rock hard bug boner because of it. <laughs> Whoa. Uh, that, that, uh, that went a different way than I thought yeah, it would. Yeah, no, I know. Stay on your side of the table, John. Um <laughs> Dude, this looks freaking amazing. Yes, and, it does. Um, the, so the new Starship Troopers movie uh, is an animated adaptation. of. It's a, supposed to be a sequel that, that's supposed to be... Like a direct a, sequel to one, to the first one. Right, right. Yeah. It's supposed to be in the same vein as the original. Apparently, it's like a quadrilogy. I'm, I'm not too sure. I don't know. Sure. There's a lot of them. But it looks a lot like... Um, it, it is an animated feature, so like the... Like the Halo animated series and like yeah. the Matrix, uh, Animatrix and Final Fantasy. The Final Fantasy. Uh, the there's Spirit two. Within. Spirit Within and there's another Final Fantasy that I can never remember the name of because I Is haven't that watched that one. Advent something? I don't remember. I think so. It might be. You're if you Google know it? the second word, please tweet, tweet it at us. <laughs> Advent season. We're not Advent about calendar. Advent... <laughs> Candle. I'm not too sure. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, man. But it's out there. It's out there. It's only some device that we can check things against. Nah, it's too Uh, much work. Nah, it's. I'm busy watching this trailer. Dude, but this looks freaking amazing. Coming out in August. Coming out in August. uh, Following Rico and Diz. Amazingly, Diz, because I thought Diz died in one, but. I don't even know. Uh, spoiler alert, 20 years ago. Yeah. But the whole reason why this is coming about is because 20 years ago, this is the 20-year anniversary of the original film. So oh. that, this looks pretty amazing, dude. Dude, this like, looks cool, man. I, I'm really excited about it. I, I love getting back into that universe. Sad that NPH, Neil Patrick Harris, isn't coming back. No. Uh, or any of the other crew. Who was the other one? Hair, long, mm. face, lips, mm. eye, eye things. I, I don't know. You know who I'm talking about. Yeah, that didn't help at all. Pilot Girl. 
Okay. I still don't know. <laughs> Cameron. <laughs> I don't remember anybody's name uh. in that damn movie ever. And I watch that thing fairly often. Denise Richards. Oh, Denise Richards. <laughs> <laughs> She's not coming back anyway. It doesn't matter. Oh, uh, well, I guess it doesn't matter then. Yeah. So anyway. I mean, uh, either way, they would only be like reprising the role as a voice character or. Yeah, you know, we mean, don't need to see the animated person, I guess. That's true. We don't need her mouth. Um, <laughs> But Diz and Rico back at it again, tag teaming the bugs. Yeah. Uh, So it's uh, Starship Troopers, a traitor on Mars? A traitor of Mars. A traitor of Mars. So synopsis, Rico's been demoted again. Again. Apparently he's let somebody else on his crew die during a training, a live fire training session. He doesn't know how to do anything else. I mean, when you when you're good at something. I mean, you do it. Right. Exactly. (laughs) Um, Oh. Uh, I was really hoping Gary Busey's kid was going to be in this. Oh. Little Busey. Little Busey. I don't know what Little Busey's name is either. Yeah. But um, he's not in it either. Uh, but, dude, it still looks cool. I mean, it looks amazing. Trailer's in the description. Uh, watch it if you're a fan of this at all. If you haven't seen the original Starship Troopers, I don't know what you're doing with your life. because You don't love yourself. You don't. You don't love yourself. You obviously hate yourself because that is one of the best campy big budget movies that feels like a small budget movie sometimes but is so freaking great dude it's great i love watching that movie it's so freaking good and it has no reason to be at all it really it, it should be a terrible movie it should be like everything about that movie says don't watch this movie it's not going to be good it is something that should have been shelved a long time ago but we made it and here it is and it is amazing i can't wait to to see this thing well august is right around the corner so there it is. Apparently having a night in the theater. <coughs> oh, yeah. It's a Fathom event. Uh, so it gets one night in the theater. And then after that, they're putting it for a digital download. Actually, that's not true. I have no clue what they're going to do. I don't do know right what they're doing. Are you going to try to go watch it in the theater the night that it comes out? I don't know. I think I like to see it in the theater. I kind of want to, <laughs> right? man. I don't normally do those years. events. You know yeah. what? Actually, I, the last time I saw Starship Troopers in the movie theater, it was at uh, the Cinemark movie theater here in town. Okay. At the dollar fifty, it was. I think it was a dollar at the time. It was a dollar movie, and it was worth every penny. Nice. So I'm. Stoked. That's awesome. Yeah. I don't know. I'm. Gonna, I'm gonna look into tickets. See what happens. Yeah, we'll, we'll check it out. See what's up. Yeah. Um. You know what they have been showing a lot of trailers of, and it's pissing me off. What is that? Spider Man, dude, dude. Another another more. round mm-hmm. of like, like TV spots, yep. and another round of trailers have come out. Yeah. And it's. People are going to see it. Who doesn't know Spider-Man coming out? I don't know. There's so many posters. There's so many trailers. There's so mm-hmm. many everything. Quit spoiling the damn movie. Dude, yesterday, it's one of those that's getting like too much attention. Like too much. Yesterday, Cody and I stuck around work mm-hmm. uh, to play some card games. Yeah, and, as you uh, do. As we do because we're complete nerds sometimes. Yep. Um, we went to go get N-word. some pizza. Yeah. We went to Pizza Hut. They give us the pizza boxes. Spider-Man right on the freaking cover. Are you serious? <laughs> yes. Like, the top of the pizza box is, like, a big old, like, portrait of Spider-Man, like, uh, and then, like, on the box, like, the box flaps, like, around, you know, where it normally has, like, the Pizza Hut logo? Yeah. It says, like, Spider-Man Homecoming. <laughs> like, oh, my God. I was like, this is too much, dude. Oversaturation. Did they not see what happened to Suicide Squad? First week, yeah, they got a lot of people in the theater, and then immediate tank, because, like... Everybody was sick of that thing. It's ridiculous. Yeah. Like, is this going to be the movie that Marvel Trump, like, stumbles on? Like, is this going to be it? Like, okay, they had Avengers Age of Ultron, mm-hmm. which was good. Yeah. But it had it the Smith steps, but super, super, like, really, like, inundated the market with marketing. Yeah. I feel like this did. is going to go the same route. Like, dude, but this isn't even Marvel. This is Sony. Sony. I mean, I don't know. That's, dude, that's kind of crazy, dude. And this is typical of Sony when they do big budget stuff. Yeah. And, oh, my God, it's it's really starting to get under my skin with how much they're doing. Yeah. Damn it, but, Tony. Come on, get your shit together. I mean, well, who knows? We'll see. As long as they just need to stop. Just stop already. Just cut it out. Just You don't have to do anything from now until June or July, July 7th. July 7th. So you, it's a whole month you, away. You get a month of just sitting on your thumbs or stop however you want to relax. Money. Stop spending all that ad money. Yeah. Save, save it. it. You're going to get it back. Don't worry yeah, about it. People it's are going to know. It's not going to come around and people are going to be like, oh, yeah, I forgot Spider-Man's out there. I will do my personal duty and buy tickets for everybody to go watch it like I've already have. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you already bought the tickets. I mean, there's no going back now. 
Oh, yep. I got to yep. tell the wife we're going to go see it. Sorry. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Before this, before this episode airs. <laughs> yeah, for sure. For sure. <laughs> It'll be a great surprise. Like. Yeah. You're like, oh, yeah, we're going to go see it, by the way. Uh, I was going to tell you. Awesome. Anyway. Well, uh, sticking in the Marvel Universe, uh, Chris Hemsworth dropped us some nuggets on uh, Instagram. That Dude. was that was amazing. See, I, and, uh, if they would have done marketing something like this. Right? Like these little like snippets this- and featurettes and, and like... This is the way to do it. Like, yeah. this is nothing into the movie or anything. This is just him being the character that he is and being this it's motherfucker. Chris is, Hemsworth uh, being Chris, Chris Hemsworth. He, he is was on his own personal account, even. Like, yeah. <laughs> this dude is like dripping <laughs> charisma. One. <laughs> you gotta use that to your advantage, man. Yeah. Do it, man. Oh, my goodness. So, I. I just a really just a fun little romp of of him playing uh on on set with <laughs> all the uh avengers figurines it's dude it's just an amazing little little clip like it's so goofy if, if you have like uh 2 minutes of your life that you just want some happiness uh reined in on just watch that little clip it's pretty amazing yeah uh we'll really have it amazing. in the description but really like I, I think this is the like Sony for these to go in tandem, like be doing like promotions for each other. Like I, I say this now, yeah. but maybe yeah. because Thor is like so far out, it's in November. They have some time before this is actually dropping. You know, maybe this is their their pregame and they're warming up. And as we get closer, it's gonna yeah, the shit show is gonna start. Yeah, but I don't know. What do no. you think? Uh I I just can't see that happening, man. I just can't. I don't see yeah. that happening. Well, I hope not. I hope not. I mean, there's a lot of stuff coming out between now and then. So That's I just, true. I just want the time to feel like it goes by faster than what it did for some of this other stuff. Because, uh, I mean, we're we're sick and tired of Spider-Man advertising already, and mm-hmm. it's a month away still. Yeah. You know? I don't want it to feel that way. I don't want to feel like, man, they just need to stop. I just need to stop hearing about it. You know, it, it's becoming too long of a term. Like, I just can't do it. And I don't want that to happen. You know, even with the Marvel stuff and and everybody else that's done different things like that, the sweet spot for me, I think, was Force Awakens. That one, I think, did really, really well. Because it was a lot. There was a lot of advertising. When you go back and look, there was a ton. But not so much that I was like, I'm sick of this. Like, I'm done. I can't wait any longer. It needs to happen now. And it seemed to peak right at the right time. Like, you know, little stuff, little stuff, little stuff. And then right before the movie came out, it was like, okay, ramp up. Like... Yeah. Let's get everybody in the theater who hasn't planned to see this yet. Yeah, you get it right bef- the week before and you start with greatest movie of all time. Re- you know, reviews yeah. coming out, you know. <laughs> I mean, that's how you got to do it. But, anyway. Well, let's uh, hard pivot to DC and see what's going on there. Now that the Justice League has now being helmed by Joss Whedon, they're, they're doing a lot of reshoots, but um, I guess they're doing a lot more than originally planned or originally thought. Yeah. You know, it seems like uh, they're going to be doing a lot more of the scenes, like really adjusting some of the, what the movie is, is showing. Uh, there is a report done by Batman on film talking about they have an inside person that's actually already seen a cut of Justice League. Ooh. And some of these, uh, they said it was good. They said it was a solid movie. But... Uh, the reshoots that they're going to be doing here for now that Josh Whedon's taking over are going to be kind of immense and changing the tone of the movie. What do you think, man? Um, okay. Sure. Why not? Okay. So this is one thing that we haven't talked about because you talked about Wonder Woman last week. Mm-hmm. Since then, oh. I've now gone to go watch it. Right on, dude. Okay. Well, wait. Okay. So before we talk about that, we'll talk about... What are your feelings on Wonder Woman? Okay, so and it's going to lead into this thing. Okay, so okay. Like, that's what I'm saying. This is a good place to insert it because. Okay. Gross. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Anywho. <laughs> Wonder Woman, dude, it was good but not great. Mm-hmm. Good but not great. That's where it sets for me. I-, I liked it. I enjoyed it. I had a good time while I was watching the movie, and then immediately as soon as it's done, I was like, mm, that was long (laughs) right (laughs) right it just felt like it should have ended half an hour earlier you know and and i mean i think the fact that it took so long to get to that point and then there's still like another half hour tagged on at the end of it like that's what made it really seem like oh my god like this thing is never gonna end and man 
that that would have helped make it a little bit better. But it wasn't just that, man. It's, it's like it really feels stuff like stuff we've seen before. And I know everybody's making this comparison, so it's nothing new, and I'm not bringing anything different or, or significant to the table with it. But everybody's compared it to the first Captain America movie. Right. And it really just feels like that, man. It just has such a feeling of that movie because of it's set in a wartime, because of the things that they're dealing with. I got a little upset at uh, Chris Pine. In Why? His interviews leading up to it. Because in the interviews leading up to it, he was talking about how, you know, this is different. It's taking a whole different take on it because, mm-hmm. you know, like Marvel, like, and they're doing like their quote unquote infinity war and, you know, so what is infinite war, like or war forever? Like it doesn't make any sense. And this yeah. is about peace and about love and you know, trying to take a different take on these things. And I was like, dude, stop talking out of your ass and like d- take time to research the stuff you're talking about. One. Yeah. And then two, a lot of the movies have been exactly the opposite, not just about war. Um, Cause that was his other complaint. You know, that it's just about fighting. Yeah. And it's like, dude, the, all the Marvel movies have been about something else. You know, there's fighting because hell that's what happens in comic books a lot of times but it dealt with so many other things and it deals with a bunch of extra subjects on top of the fighting and just the antagonist being there for for whatever reason and man to me this it it didn't break that mold really there's some like cool things that are in there um i did like the way that uh aries looked yeah like that was really cool like the like how they did the the costume or not the costume the uh the armor i guess right right um like that was cool it was interesting a little bit different but everything else to me was like okay we've seen this kind of stuff before it's it's still the same it's still you know kind of doing the same kind of stuff i don't know man there was just too many beats that were the same as the captain america movies or movie the first one yeah and this is a huge spoiler, so skip ahead if you still haven't watched Wonder Woman. We, I still suggest going to watch this, but I don't think everybody's going to go out of there being like, wow, that was amazing. Um, there was only one person in the group that we want to go watch it in, with that was like, oh, this is amazing. Uh, but spoilers again, the end of the movie mm-hmm. where he does the sacrifice. Oh, yeah. Dude, what, what the hell? Like, that's exactly like freaking Captain America. Yeah, that's true. I don't know. Like, that was... Uh, and obviously it wasn't like her doing the sacrifice. It was him doing the sacrifice, but I mean, it still had the exact same beats, but I, I don't know, man. Like it was, it was good. And that's a lot of complaining for a movie that I really did like. Yeah. But I, I mean, for all those reasons, I, I think it kept it from being great. Now, that being said, it is still to me the best movie in the modern day DC universe. Mm-hmm. I mean, I don't know. Do you, the do bar you set that? pretty low. Um, yes. The bar was really low. Yeah, I think, man, like they, they had such a high note with, well, now that it's actually like DCEU, like they're going to do more than just Batman, that, you know, that they're getting everybody, you know, kind of looped in and, and doing Justice League also in November. Yeah. Um, I don't think I had as many gripes as you, but I still, again, very good. Not the best out there, of course, but still a very, very, very good movie. Uh, I, I, th- I thought it was awesome, but... You were saying that this film, how does this affect your Justice League thoughts? Okay, so it affects my Justice League thoughts because... Oh, yeah, all of that? Yep. Or I, I guess because it's uh, it, it's bringing it up. It's turning in a different direction now. You know, because for me, everything so? else was like down, down, lower than we had Suicide Squad. Yeah. You know, and I was like, dude, this is... I'm done. Like, I was like at the point mm-hmm. that I'm like, this is... And especially after I bought, like, BVS on Blu-ray, I was like, mm-hmm. what the hell was I thinking? Oh, yeah. I know I didn't like that movie. I know that... We still went ex- about it anyway. I know. And then we had the extended cut that was supposed to fix things and make things a little bit better. And to me, even then, that's still, like... It, didn't it was just longer. jack for me. Like, it just makes it impossible to watch in one sitting. Like, that's all it did. And and it made me upset. Like, and I was like, dude, I'm done with this. Like, but I still... Watching the trailers and everything made me hopeful for... Wonder Woman. It just looked like it was going to be better. It looked like it was going to have a little bit of a different beat, a little bit of a different tone. And it does. It does change from what it was previously with the um, uh, with the DCEU movies. And, and that, I, I, 100%, I think it's better than those other ones. But, like you said, the bar is still pretty low. So, yeah. But at least it's not just taking a nosedive now. Like, now they're trying to pull back the reins and bring it back up, it seems like. And with this, like hearing this news that Joss Whedon might be changing some of this stuff, 
originally had said they're not going to. They're, they're just going to do some reshoots, maybe just like the normal type reshoots. He was still going to try to do it like. In the same um, vein yes. as Zack Snyder. Yeah, yeah. Like, like that would have been done. Um, but instead, they're, they're changing. It looks like they might be changing it up. If they do, awesome. Like if they don't change too much, I just, I just hope, I just really hope that Joss Whedon doesn't change so much that it ends up becoming a bad movie. Or that he knows he can find the true medium of and center between him and what was already done to make it a good movie. That's all I really want. Mm-hmm. I don't care if he changes it completely. I don't care if it's funnier. I don't care if it's darker. As long as it's good, man. Yeah. As yeah. long as it's good. Like, just make a good movie. Something that can, like, take what Wonder Woman has now paved down, like, the road for and, like, really start off something that's going to be slightly different but better in the DCEU. Yeah, man. Well, I hope they go down that path and they they make this one like the Avengers killer, you know, or something, yeah. you know, something to, you know, have them. Because it, it, now it seems like this is the battle between the two huge powerhouse comic book series like that you really want to see. Yeah. You want to see them both do well because, of course, like competition only breeds like gr- more greatness. Yes. You know, so, you know, I think Wonder Woman is a step in the right direction. So. Hopefully, Justice League does a lot more of the same and gets everybody back on track. Yeah, man. I think so. I really hope so. Because Marvel's really going to have to... Like, they don't want to become complacent. And I think them... Like, I think DC nipping at their heels would definitely help that. And if this is for the better and this makes it any better than what it would have been, great. I'm, I'm all for that. Let's do it. Let's do it, man. Yeah! Right on. Well, let's uh, pivot yet again to... I don't know. There's really no way to go into this subject <laughs> other than... <laughs> just like a just, hard cut. Yeah, just a super hard cut, man. Uh, super Mario World, or it's Nintendo World. Yes. Uh, Universal Studios um, and Nintendo um, with their... Uh, Flo- uh, Florida. With their Japan <laughs> theme park yeah. is launching, or they just did the uh, groundbreaking uh, this week for Nintendo World. Super Nintendo World. Not just any Nintendo World, but Super a Super Nintendo, Nintendo World. Dude, uh, we talked a little bit about this a few episodes ago, maybe even more. Them thinking about it and like kind of saying, like, hey, this yeah. is coming along. But now, bam, it's starting. It's in the works. Damn it, man. It, I'm it's excited, cool, dude. Man. It looks really cool. Yeah. I don't think I would ever fly to Japan. I mean, that would be really cool <laughs> if I did because I hate flying. But... uh uh, but I'll I do mean, it anyway. Apparently, but, I, I don't know. I think this is just the first one that they're going to do. Mm-hmm. And it seems like they're going to try to bring this stuff over here, too. I hope so. So man. it wouldn't be just in Japan, but in the Universal Japan. Like, it would be in Universal in Florida and Hollywood. Nice. Um, which would be legit, dude. I would love to go see this. Hell yeah, man. I, okay, so already in Orlando, they have Harry Potter World. Harry Potter yeah. World is amazing. That's one of the ones that I think, you know, kind of when we talk about like competition and breeding competition and kind of mm-hmm. having to one up each other and hell, the only people that benefit is us. Um, yeah. <laughs> but uh, like when they came out with Harry Potter World, like I think that them doing things like uh, like the Star Wars area that's going to be in Disney now, mm-hmm. I think that's that's basically just bred that, you know, like av- now we have the Avatar stuff in uh, the world of the Navi yeah. in Animal Kingdom. And I think it's just, like, the fact of, like, hey, you have to keep one-upping if you're going to be able to keep in competition. Yeah. And as much as I loved Harry Potter World, it was really good. Really good stuff. But some of the stuff that Disney does overall to kind of theme their stuff out, dude, it beats out anybody. Hands to, down. Yes. Like, and, and they just haven't done it with the – or it doesn't feel like they've done it anything as big as what they're going to do with this. Mm-hmm. Like, with the Star Wars stuff coming out. So I think this is just a direct response. Like, hey, if, if they're going to do Star Wars and Toy Story and keep bringing stuff um, on the Disney side, Universal is going to have to up their game again. So here's the response, you know, like doing the, the Nintendo stuff and then doing um, – or Harry Potter and, you know, kind of leading into this Nintendo stuff. But, yeah. dude, it looks cool, man. Did you watch the, the trailer of it yet? Yeah, I mean, yeah. I, I wanted – like I really wanted them to be like, oh, well, this is what it looks like or at least a, a portion of the actual park. But it was just like the 3D world. Yeah. It looked a lot like um, the new Mario that's coming out for the Switch uh, soon. So yeah. is that Mario out for the Switch already? No. No. Um, no. It's coming up soon. Yeah. If it isn't out already, it's coming up soon. Yeah. Um, but it looked a lot like that. So I was like, yeah. oh, man. I, uh, 
I mean, it's cool, but I was really hoping for some like actual in real life actual portions. Yeah, yeah. Oh no, too too far away. Too still. soon. Yeah, but everybody said that um, or the people that have looked at it and you know the the videos that I've watched that have extra that have broken down this thing, really say that with how much time they put into making this like 3D animation, mm-hmm. this isn't just a 3D animation that's like okay, this is potentially what it could be. This 3D animation is like, this is probably what it's going to look like. Oh, really? Yes. Oh, wow, that's cool. Yeah, because, I mean, the buildings are laid out. Like, everything looks like it has its path. But if you look at um, where the way things are happening in it, like, everything is proportional and in the same places. So this isn't just, like, a 3D render of something. Mm-hmm. This is, like, a layout of how layout. things are going to be. Cool, man. Well, let, me look. let me try to pull that up again real quick. Yeah, that looks pretty legit. Damn it, that looks cool. It looks really cool, man. And I don't know, who knows how much is going to be like actual things you can walk on, how many things you can do. Mm-hmm. It's funny because when I first saw this, I was like, uh, I, I took a quick glance at it and I was like, is that a new like Mario trailer for a game? Yeah, like, right. What is it? What are real people doing in there? Like, get yeah. out of there. What are, you, what are you trying to do, Nintendo? And then I was like, yeah. wait a minute. <laughs> Nintendo VR again. Again. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> nope, not today. Dude, it it just looks amazing. It looks yeah, really cool. That looks I pretty really cool. I, I I can see the people walking around now. That's cool. Yeah, I'm really hoping e- either one of two things. Either they really build it out. Um, I don't know. Either the exact same way or similar here in the states as well as what they do in Japan. Mm-hmm. And if not that, then hell, like I really hope I can take a trip to Japan and see, like once it's built uh, mm-hmm. to go okay, check it out, man. Because it's oh man, it's freaking cool. It just looks amazing. Yeah. I love stuff like that. I love kind of getting in a world where I can be immersed into that thing, which is why I'm super excited about Star Wars stuff. Yeah. Harry Potter stuff was already super amazing too. So I, I just really – that this is cool, cool stuff. I really, really like this kind of thing. And, uh, man, I just hope I get to go. That's yeah. all I really hope for. I just want to go. <laughs> Send me to there. Why not me? Why not me? <laughs> well, cool, man. Um, let's get out of this world and into the world of the supernatural. Oh, God. Um, Mummy's coming out this weekend. I don't know if we're going to watch it. I don't, I don't know if we're going to watch I, it. I don't think I am. Uh, let's dip into the supernatural, man, and talk about Stranger Things. Finally. Finally. Uh, coming out on Halloween. Um, Halloween. Halloween, it, it's, it's going to be out. Super excited about It'll it. It'll be out. <laughs> There's an echo in here. <laughs> <laughs> the selective echo. <laughs> <laughs> um. So season two has has wrapped uh, principal photography and I guess maybe all of photography, I want to say. But they give us a little bit more information about like the monsters and what's happening. Um, so is it monsters, I think, maybe? It seems like it. Right? Yeah. Um, and, well, and if it, of course, Stranger Things news, if you don't want to hear anything about it, just go in there blind. You don't have to listen. Come back a little bit later. Or you can stop now and then listen to our next story which is nothing yeah <laughs> uh, but but essentially um the monsters are going to be more more scary all the way around yeah um and w- we talked about this before about how they're really going to be dipping into the horror aspect of it all so this is kind of crazy man um i'm excited to see like some of the images that we have uh screen Rant did a a, a great little uh, piece on it here uh we put the description here in the in the trailer. <laughs> we put the description in the trailer we put the <laughs> uh breakdown of, of it in the trailer they give some awesome uh pics of uh well not only the original demogorgon but that just essentially saying that the demogorgon from the original one yeah, uh, is going to be like small potatoes compared to like what's really coming up next. So I, oh man, I'm, I'm just excited about this man. This that show, like we always talk about it, how it just came out of nowhere and it really just kind of blew us away. Yeah, um, it and took then, the world by storm, and it did. Like, dude, like I remember like hearing just like random mm. like articles or seeing random uh interviews from people who were just like hey have you heard of this stranger things show you know and man yeah. it really just freaking took off so yeah i'm super excited to see how they how they go and, and continue that world here and that whole universe what do you think man like dude this is one of those ones that i'm like i just i want it to come out already yeah well no i know uh, october man that's super far away it feels like i know the, it seems like the winter is gonna be amazing and I'm waiting for Thor, waiting for Justice League, waiting for Stranger Things. Like, damn it. 
Yeah, there's a ton of stuff coming out, man. Mm-hmm. A ton of stuff coming out. Um, I'm really happy that Game of Thrones is coming back soon. Yeah. You know, kind of like a, a tied me over kind of thing. Uh, Spider Man still coming out. But, dude, like just to get over into that wave now because it's so much all year round now, dude. This just releases, release after release after release after release, you know? Yeah. Um, I think this falls into more of the traditional timeline of things coming out in the fall, but. Yeah. Um, like TV shows and stuff, like how it used to be, but yeah. with Netflix and stuff like that, like you can do it whenever now, and that's why I'm excited. The Game of Thrones is happening right in the middle of the summer because, like, I need it. I need something to tide me over. But man, I oh god, this show! I don't think I've ever really got that excited about any show so quickly, and and partly it is because of the way that Netflix has now changed our world and made things available like hey day one here's your whole here's thing here's like, all the things like take yeah. as much of it as you want you know or as little as you want like it's all up to you on how you're going to consume it and yeah. damn it i don't know anybody who watched the first couple of episodes and then well, me, no i can't think of anybody maybe i can think of somebody if i thought really hard and maybe talk to all of my friends who saw this but i don't think i know anybody who watched the first couple of episodes and then was like oh it was okay i'm not gonna watch anymore or right. took their time watching it like everybody i know watched the first one or two episodes and then immediately just started like, you know, the next like two, three days of their lives were consumed just by watching this because you had to, like there was no stopping in the middle. Like you, you finished an episode and you wanted, you needed the next one to come out. Yeah. And now we've been sitting on this thing for, it's been almost like nine months since it came out. Oh God, that feels like such a long time ago. No kidding, right? It feels like a lot longer than ten, than nine months. It feels like it should be coming out now. Like this is this is the time for them to release the next one, and it's still a few months away. And, and they're not having to do any hard advertising. They did a Super Bowl commercial, right? Yeah, it was, was a Super it. Bowl, right? Well, yeah, yeah. yeah. This is the one that caught me by surprise. I was like, wait a minute, I know that song. <laughs> and now here we are, a few months later. Not a whole lot of advertising still. Not a whole lot of talk about it. There's mm-hmm. a bunch of news that come about it because that's how much people are craving it. And hell, just let it sit, man. We don't need a whole lot, and but let it go. And now yeah. since we've been talking about so many ads and stuff, like not a great time to mention that. And as it comes along, hey man, just send us a little reminder. We'll get really excited about it again, <laughs> and I'll be I'll be ready to sit down and watch. I might even take some days off. Maybe I can use some time off to just no, sit sir. and watch like, <laughs> tear through the next season as quick as possible. We'll see. We'll yeah. see what happens. But anyway, dude, I'm super excited. All the news coming out has been it's been awesome. It's been really really awesome. Yeah, it's too far away. It is too far away, but that's what. Can we just take a nap, like a long nap, until then? No, dude, you need a long nap now, but not that long. Just enough to get over your cold thing here. I know, man. I'm tired of being sick. Tired of being tired of being tired and sick. Yeah. If you're sick and tired of being sick and tired, I feel you. Tired and sick. I feel you right now. Maybe if I see the mummy. Ooh, what if the mummy rejuvenates me? That's a lie. That's not gonna happen. It's not. It's gonna be false. I'm going to fall asleep right through it. I think that's exactly what's going to happen. I know. It's going to be one of those things. I'm going to be an old man falling asleep <laughs> in movies. Just being that guy that's like snoring super hard. And the Mummy Impossible. Mummy Impossible. Dude, uh, Dude, we didn't talk about it, but I want to talk about it now if you don't mind. Yeah. What you got? Um, last thing. We'll wrap it up. John Wick 2. I think I watched it four times in the last what? three days. You went from not watching it at all. Yeah, so four times in the last three days. Yeah, well, I bought it like as soon as it came out, like it was available. F- that is a lie. <laughs> you did not buy it. <coughs> I did. No, I, not as soon as it came out. Not a, okay, I bought it okay. as soon as it came out. Get, okay, you bought you it did. like a week later. I bought it a week later because I was still hesitant about it. But the wife and I were just hanging out. And she was like, well, there's nothing on TV. I was like, well, they keep talking about John Wick. Let's watch it. And we couldn't rent it. We can only buy it. And I was like, well, if we went to the movie theater, it's about the same thing. Same price. Yeah. 16 bucks. Yeah. I'll drop some cash That's for that. That's not bad at all. So, and we get to own it if we want to watch it again. Yeah. And so we did it. And then as soon as we started the movie, she got distracted and started doing something else. And I was like, oh, okay, then I guess I'll watch it. So, <laughs> <laughs> so since then, we've restarted it several times. And even last night again, we restarted it again. And then... She fell asleep, so I watched it again. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, I think it's amazing, man. Is she just not into it? I don't know. I, it's maybe like when your wife's just not into that movie, that should be a movie. You know? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, because there's got to be stuff that you really like, and you've tried to get Brandy to watch that she just wasn't into. We've had this conversation on the podcast before. Remember? 
stuff we can't see with their wives. Yes. I know. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But anything as of recent? Because that was like second uh, or third episode. I don't know. I don't know. I'd have to think about that for a minute. Yeah, I'm sorry. I know. I'm sure there is things, you. but I don't know. Yeah. I mean, anyway. It's still amazing. And, yeah. And if you haven't seen John Wick 2, check it out. Uh, just like Eric. Just like me. I was holding about, out, waiting I was forever. a non-believer. But chapter now. three is coming out, so that's yeah. exciting. Yeah, dude. Damn it. After that second one, like that's it's amazing. Yeah, it's, am- and it's amazing. Yeah, man, it's really difficult for like a sophomore effort to come out and be amazing, and yeah. then it's as amazing as that. So, yes, I don't know. Yeah, Th- that's that's what I gotta say. Was there anything that you were gonna check out besides uh, possibly uh, the Mummy this weekend? But not really. I I want to go watch Baywatch still. That's what's gonna happen. Don't waste your money, man. Yeah, no, I'm gonna do it. You're gonna waste your money. Yeah, Ugh. I'm watching Baywatch. All right, man. Well, possibly we'll see what happens. I got a lot of stuff to do this weekend, but I really want to go watch it. Right. Um, the one thing that I probably will go waste money on, uh, and just a quick mention because we did talk about it and it became a show topic, so I'm going with it now. Okay. Um, the Hero Clicks What If series came oh out. Oh my god! <laughs> I thought it was even coming out till August, but apparently I was dead wrong because uh, it came out this week, and okay. I'm probably gonna go spend a ton of money on that. Maybe not. Maybe I'll restrain myself. But if not, I'm going to go buy some Hero Clicks. I love me some tabletop, man. I know. What you can do. I say? I love it. I know. I'm sorry. Know. I apologize okay. for liking the things I like. Well, uh, that's okay. Because you like what you like, and no one's going to tell you otherwise. Thank you. Well, except I'll, I'll give you some shit about it sometimes. Oh, well, but probably. Yeah. But, you know, that's just the way it is. Fair is fair. Fair is fair, John. <laughs> so let's, because now we're just really trying to drag it out at this point. No, no, we're like, done. This like, is it. But this, this is, is it. We're done. Episode. John. Until the next time we talk and they listen, yes. where can they find us? They can find us on uh, Facebook, Twitter, YouTube. That's it. <laughs> SoundCloud? Find- no, no, no. That's coming later. <laughs> <laughs> Those are all the places you can find us as Kenobi's Corner. So just oh, okay. search for Kenobi's Corner. You should be able to hit us up. All one word. Uh, on each one of those platforms is like our username. So uh, you can check us out. Come find us. Uh, we'll be glad to have you as our guest. And uh, like Eric mentioned, SoundCloud, soundcloud.com slash Kenobi's Dash Corner is our place there. You can also go to Kenobi's Corner dot rocks. It'll redirect you over to that page. That's where we normally post a podcast to. Great comment section in each one of the podcasts. If you want to have a sub- uh, conversation about the subjects on that podcast, let us know if you like something. Let us know if you don't like something. Let us argue with you if you want to argue with somebody. Like, we'd love to have those debates. This podcast was started on the fact that we just love talking about this stuff. So we would love to talk about it with you. If you're willing to listen to our crap about it, we would love to listen to yours. (laughs) So like John said, be our guest. Put our services to the test. Tie your napkin around your waist. (laughs) And we'll provide the rest. Damn, that was deep. (laughs) That's John had a little right there. Uh, Lumiere there for you. <laughs> uh, but yes, until then, please enjoy yourselves and each other. <laughs>